Good morning and welcome to the first episode of Quarantine with Mrs. Kupperman. You know, I was thinking the other day how much I was missing you guys and I thought maybe you might be a little bit bored. I also know that most of you have devices, so I thought what if I came up with my own little YouTube channel? I could teach you all kinds of fun things that have absolutely nothing to do with the English curriculum, but might still be fun anyway. So I plan to make these videos every day or two and just come back to the website and watch them on YouTube. First of all, I thought I'd start out today with the March 20th jokes of the day. Why don't frogs die from laryngitis? I'll give you a second to think about that. It's because they can't croak. Ha ha ha. What do you get when you cross a toad and a pig? A warthog. Get it? Toads have warts. Okay then. And what's a frog's favorite kind of music? Got it? Hip hop, of course. Anyway, yes, those were lame, but I hope you snickered a little bit. You can always share them with your younger brother or sister who will think that they are hysterical. Anyway, um, so I have all kinds of fun things that I was hoping to teach you as the days go by. First, I want you to notice that I'm trying to be very safe myself. You'll notice right away, what happened to Mrs. Kupperman's nails? Oh no! I have not seen my nails like this probably in the last 25 years or so because I always have them done every two to three weeks. But I went yesterday and had them take off all the acrylic and polish and everything because I don't want to have to go back to the nail salon in case the COVID virus gets a little bit more spread and want to make sure I stay safe. I'm also not going back to the hair salon, which means that I'm gonna have a lot of gray. So I thought one of the fun things would, we could do is I will measure my gray and you can send in guesses as to how much gray will grow in the next two weeks. So since today's March the 20th, we'll check again on April the 4th. So let me go get my handy dandy assistant Eli and have him measure my gray. Alrighty, so Eli's here with the yardstick because we couldn't find a ruler. And how much gray do I have, sir? One and three quarters in centimeter. One and three quarters centimeter. All right, so that's where we're starting, 1.75 centimeters. So in two weeks on April the 4th, we'll do that again, and we'll see who's come the closest to guessing. Send your guess in as one of the comments in on the YouTube channel. Now I'd like to show you something really cool that you can do if you're not allowed to use the stove. And I've read a lot of memoirs where people did bad things on stoves and uh, you can use the microwave to make yourself a scrambled egg. Let's go see how it's done. All right, here are the ingredients that you need and the utensils you'll need to make a, an egg in the microwave. You're gonna need a fork. Obviously you're gonna need an egg. You can't make an egg in the microwave without an egg. You'll need a bowl that can go into the microwave you need some nonstick cooking spray so that the egg won't stick to the bowl, and you need some saran wrap. All right, the first thing you wanna do is you want to spray the bowl. Make sure you shake the nonstick cooking spray, and then give it a nice good spray so that your egg won't stick. Then you're gonna crack the egg into the bowl. Make sure you don't have any shell in there because you don't want crunchy eggs. Well, maybe you do. Then you take your fork and you mix it up really well. That will make it scramble. Now at this point, if you love cheese, like I do, you can put some cheese in, but I'm gonna make this egg for my little puppers because they can use eggs. Eggs keep their coats nice and shiny. And then after you mix it, whoops, you're gonna take some saran wrap and put it over the bowl, but not completely. You need to leave a little bit of open air so that the bubbles won't explode. So I put it over the bowl, but you'll notice there's a space like right here where it's empty. And now we'll put it in the microwave. Now, if I'm only doing one egg in the bowl, then I know only need to put it in for 45 seconds. So let's do that. Time cook. 45 seconds and go. Now, if you're gonna use more than one egg, you're gonna to need to put it in for a little bit longer because they won't both cook all the way through in 45 minutes. It might take a minute to a minute 15. While you're waiting, you could dance or, oh, look who's here. I can introduce you to Ace. 
You've never seen Ace live on film. How gay. Who's a good boy? Isn't he cute? He's my little Ace face. They've only seen you all dressed up in costume. They haven't seen you normally. Say hi. Mwah. Are you a good boy? Who's a good boy? Maybe tomorrow I'll let you meet Georgia. All right, go on back. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't think he was too happy with Georgia there. All right, let's see how much longer we need. Oh, it's on two seconds. Before I take it out of the microwave, though, I'm going to wash my hands. When the 45 seconds are up, you can take it out of the microwave, but be careful to hold it on the edges because the underside will be very hot. And then I will take off the wrap, again, carefully, because the steam will come up. And you're going to check to see if your egg is totally cooked. I'm going to use my fork to turn it over and make sure it's done. And voila, we have a scrambled egg. So that is how you make a scrambled egg in the microwave. I hope yours is yummy as mine. Anyway, I really hope that you all are staying safe. Please make sure that if you go outside that you stay away from others. Don't play basketball if you're gonna share basketballs. And enjoy this extra time that we have with our families. Remember, Mrs. Kupperman loves you very much and I hope that I'll get to see you soon. Tune in again tomorrow and see if there's a new video up. I think I might teach you all kinds of interesting things, maybe some card games. If you have an idea, go ahead and send it to me in the comments and I'll see if I can do it. Uh, but I don't think you wanna see me dance. Anyway, have a fabulous day, love ya.